morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is cold as heck today, Sam is working. Oh man, why does he always have to work? It is cold as heck, Sam is working. So we are doing chores this morning. I'm here with Sophie and the dog. And Gabby is on her way. Me and Daisy have arrived. Sophie and Daisy have arrived, but that's Molly. Come on, get in here, get warm. Here we go. Close the door there, sister, it's cold. Yeah, so Penny was playing with the with the poles. We left the poles up yesterday, and that's what she does. She just plays. She pushes them over and she plays. And I was just thinking, like about our arena. It's like the middle of winter, and it's the middle of winter, and our arena has a tiny bit of snow in it. But we've like done changes to the outside of the the arena throughout the last like year and stuff. And it used to freeze. It used to flood and freeze, and it used to be really bad. That's so just a little bit bad, so we know what we need to do this year. Are where we need to fix. Warm? Why aren't you wearing warm clothes? <laughs> Gabby has arrived. It's about time, Gabby. I think she has like a rule about. Oh, I forgot to throw hay. I think she has a rule about being here at the same time as us. She has to wait. All right, let's do some hay. A dog that walks down to the barn with you. Yeah, so all the dogs go down to the barn with us, except for Daisy, she waits for Sophie. She runs down to the barn and then comes back up to wait for me. Yeah, that's our dog's form of exercise. Running, poof, down to the barn, back and forth, back and forth. How many times a day do you think they do that? Really? Every time we let them out to pee, down to the barn, back up, pee, and then in the house. All right, it's time. Wait, is it time? Yeah, it's time. Is it time? Oh. So Gabby had a shower when she got home last night and then it was close to bedtime. So she braided her hair. Now she has curly hair. I want to get like a a crimping iron or like a curling iron. Yeah, what? Has one. Is it nice? I don't know. Oh, I want that. So uh, you have a big bruise on your cheek. What's that from? Do you really think I know? I hit myself every day. Yeah. I walk into door frames. Okay. Yeah. Gray Finn hit his, his seal on her door. Frame. Yeah, Gray Finn hit himself in the face yesterday over a jump, didn't he? Yeah. I've done that too on his neck. Oh. Oh. Like oh. That. Well, that can be dangerous. Yeah. All right. It's because he throws his legs out and then up. Yeah. So he can't throw his legs out to be a hunter, is that it? He only does it a couple times until he gets used to the jump. Oh. Alright, are we ready? Are we ready? Let me just clean my horse before we're ready because let me tell you this horse is always dirty. Always dirty. She's my dirty, dirty girl. She's my dirty penny pickle. She likes to lay down, roll her face in the shavings, get them all in her eyes. Yeah. See, she likes it though. She likes a good morning rub. Yes, you do. Oh, look, even her ears. Yeah. She's like, thanks for cleaning me, Mom. <laughs> you. Oh my goodness. She just makes me so happy. I don't have any treats. I got nothing for you. You get bath for free today. Okay, all right. Are we ready? So we got this big, huge color thing. I think we should do it one day for school. Maybe on family day. Just me. Gabby wants to color it. So anyways, turn it all the way up, so. No, hold on. Wait, they can't even see. But it is Sideways. a unicorn yeah. and a dragon. You guys can't see, but there's a unicorn and a dragon and fire and. We'll color it. I want to color it too. Uh, until I get annoyed that, because I hate the feeling of paper. And the noise of paper. Yeah, like how do you color something like that? Well, I took a couple photos of it before I colored it, so now I can color it on your iPad and test designs. 
Yeah, oh, and that's... see how I want to color it. Oh, I that's it. genius, Gabby. All the dogs are like, I know something's happening. Come on, I know what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> There's Bye. action in the house. Paper. <laughs> she does not like paper. Ruby, paper. <laughs> Molly, paper. Molly's terrified of paper. Paper. <laughs> Let me eat it! <laughs> and big chicken over there doesn't even come in the room. I cut off the end, but... So see? I have better photos than that. It's hard to show you, but she basically put it on my iPad so that she can color it on there and then figure out how she wants to do it. That's genius. Yeah. So today is the only day I can ride. If I want to ride, it has to be today. And the reason is, we're expecting really bad weather tomorrow. So I, oops. so I have to ride today. But the problem is, it's supposed to be warm today. It's really cold, you guys. Really cold, and I want to ride outside in the snow. I want to ride as much in the snow as I can. Uh, but it's not going to be today. It's unfortunate and sad, but I'm going to ride. I want to try Penny in this other saddle. I have so many things I need to do today. But I put my foot down, and I told Sam, I'm riding, like I need to ride. And he said, so ride. So I'm gonna ride. Well, hi. <laughs> you wanna ride? We'll probably ride inside though. And you've been pooping in there, Penny Pickle? Yeah, all right, let's get to it. Apparently Penny does not want to ride today. She refused. She refuses. Hop huh, Pen, you wanna ride today? You wanna ride? Yeah? Can we do it? <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> I promise, we're trying a different saddle. It'll be more fun. I promise. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's getting unhappy. We got like a train of horses going on here. Come on, Penny, I promise. The thing about Penny is that she always says, uh, no, 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 fine. That's the, her whole personality. And even when I ride her, like the first couple of minutes when I'm riding, she's like, uh, oh, fine. And I don't mind that about her. Like I understand that that's who she is and she understands that I understand that that's who she is. So whatever. When people want me to do things I don't want to do, Always takes me a few minutes to give in to. Do you guys scratch your horse's eyes? Rub them for them? I always rub her eyes. And literally, she, wait. Let's see if I can get it good. Oh. Normally, normally when I scratch her eyes, she's so excited. Yeah, it feels so good. My kids always say that it takes me forever to tack up, but it's because I have like a whole list of things that I like to do. For my horse, I like to scratch her eyes, brush her legs, like scrub her legs up and down, not hard, but like to circulate the blood in her legs, going to her feet. I like to do her hair because she really enjoys that. She loves it. She drops her head usually, gets so relaxed. And I also clean her bum. Do you guys do that for your horses? Do you clean their bums? I clean all of our horses' bums and all of them like it. She's like, don't tell them that, Laura, it's private. But she loves to have her hair brushed and she likes to have her bum clean because she trusts me and she believes in me and she knows that I'm gonna make it better for her. This is the saddle that I had when I got Penny and this is the saddle I first rode her in always and she seemed to enjoy it. I, it's not my favorite in terms of how it fits me and the position it puts my body in. And so then I ended up getting this saddle which I actually like how uh, secure I feel and how how it fits me and how it holds my position but I feel like Penny doesn't like this saddle. I've been having a hard time getting her to move out to move forward and the thing about Penny is that Penny moves forward like that's what she does she is a forward moving horse and before I changed saddles I never could get her to stop moving forward so oops so now I'm gonna try her in this saddle again what do you think? She's like, no. <laughs> so I'm gonna try her, oh, I forgot to pick her feet. So I'm gonna try her in this saddle again. 
and see how she does and see if it's a saddle issue. I should also say that this Wintex saddle is listed as one, what the heck? Something is not hooked up right. <laughs> it just came right out. This Wintex saddle is listed as one of the saddles that are really good for a gated breed. So now, I just need to figure this out. I think I've done a boo-boo. So the problem I'm having is I think I have it like hooked up, but this part should be tucked inside here, not hanging down here, and I don't know how to fix that. We are all set up. I actually cleaned this saddle. Not very well, apparently. I just spent like three minutes zooming on in on Gabby's face and she turned towards me. Yeah, Gabby, move that stick on the ground. Move it, Gabby. Stick on the ground. It's a stick on the ground. She make it around me? <laughs> no, she will not. Oh, Penny, you're such a All good right. girl. Part three of Gabby. <laughs> Gabby, don't scare her. Hey, you oh, yeah. hit me. I was trying two different stirrups to see which one I like. I like this one here better. That's mine. Yeah, I like your stirrups better. So I was trying to make her go to the side. I was pushing with all my might. I gave myself like a groin muscle spasm. I couldn't get her over that close to the wall. See if she'll, she'll go fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. Yeah, I know. Well, she doesn't do it anymore. I like doing no stirrups, but there's no way I'm getting the seat back in. I like doing no stirrups on her. I need a lot of help. Like, oh, I think you're right. I need to go to the other barn and have Brandon help me. She's still not moving forward. Some of you guys know that with a gated horse, 
you can tell how well they're gating by the sound of their footfalls on like on like a dirt road and that's why I like riding Penny on the dirt road so much we need to get back out there and start like going for walks and stuff like we've done in the past I don't know if I'm I can kind of hear it in here, but not that good. But I like that reassurance that she's moving the right way because you can tell things about a horse if like by the way the, the their hooves sound when they land. Isn't that crazy? Like there's so many ways to tell if your horse is doing well, even if they appear to be doing well. Yeah. All right. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I need. I need to get her into shape because she's not in shape and I think that's why she doesn't really want to do anything because she thought she was on vacation. Did you think you were on vacation? All right, thanks, Sophie. The dogs are like, fine, we'll just wait hey, here. Get back. <laughs> get back over. <laughs> she inched her way out. Why did she have to stand get her back. there? Because you don't like her running around and I tell her to get on the couch but she goes underneath. Yeah. So I definitely noticed a massive change with the different saddle. I noticed that yeah. she is moving forward, like she's not running off, but she will gate and move forward with that saddle. And with the other saddle, she was doing these bucking, the little bucks. Every time I asked her to move forward, she would buck. Only when I asked her to move forward. And she enjoys Sophie. Yeah, she gained, she gained respect for her, she said. Good girl. Usually I put like a lead rope on her and lead her out. And I'm thinking, why should I do that? When halter, she, halter, yes, halter. I know. Sophie says I always forget the halter. The a big problem I'm having, you guys, is that I tighten up my pelvis when I straighten my back. I just tighten up my pelvis, and I don't know why. Maybe one of you guys can help me with that. Lunch is thrown. We threw you lunch. Okay. Go eat lunch, girlies. How I normally stand. How I should stand while I'm on a horse and how I could stand. Yeah, this is how Sophie needs to sit when she's on the horse. It, sometimes you have to exaggerate things to like, to really get it going the right. Don't you know that